Okay, today I want to talk about a an NPM package, an NPM module that you can use to help you with iOS development. Now, whether you're building a project just sort of on its own using Xcode and you're doing some stuff from the terminal, or if you're doing Cordova development, which is more likely the case here, then you can control and launch and install apps on simulators from the command line with iOS Sim. So it is an NPM package, as I was saying. So if we do a search for the NPM iOS Sim package, here it is. This is the one that you're going to want to install. So you'll use, like it says here, npm install dash g iOS Sim. So globally installing iOS Sim, so then it's available. Current version is version 9. And the commands that we want to look at are these ones right here. So just these five commands. iOS Sim show device types. This is going to tell you all of the available simulators you have. So the different types of devices and the different versions of iOS that are available for that device. Available SDKs, this is through Xcode if you've downloaded specific SDKs, so version 12.1 of iOS and so on. If you want to just launch a simulator, you can provide the type, which is coming from the list that we get here. If you want to install an app, you can use the iOS sim install command, give it a path to the app, and I'm going to show you where that will be if you're doing a Cordova app. And then, again, whatever device and iOS combination you chose from the first command. Same thing for install and launch. So there's an install command and a launch command. The launch command will install and launch it. All right, so let's jump into, and this is a Cordova project that I've got, and I just called it example. So once I was in my Cordova project, I was able to do the standard Cordova commands. Cordova platform add. Once I did that, it created the iOS folder inside of platforms for me. Then I did a Cordova build iOS. That took everything that I had in my www folder and it created the project. So if I open this up inside of here, here is my Xcode project. So I could use that to open it in Xcode if I wanted. But let's say I'm just going to continue using VS Code in the terminal to work on this. Inside the build folder, there's a folder called emulator. And this right here, this example.app, this is actually the file that we're going to be. I mean, it shows up as a folder because there's contents, but we can treat it like it is the app that we're going to install. So for the launch and install commands, this is the path. This is the file that we're looking for. So example.app. All right, so I've in added iOS. I've done the build command once. That created this for me. Now, jumping back to the iOS sim command. Here's iOS sim. And if I want to see what's available to me on my machine right now, I can say iOS sim show device types. There we go. And I get this big long list. These are all the different types of devices with the different versions of iOS, the tvOS and so on. So I can pick any one of these and launch a simulator. And there's one down here at the very bottom of the list. The XR 12.4, that's the one I'm going to launch just because it's here so you can see it as I'm typing it. If I wanted to see the available versions of the SDK, then we can just do iOS sim show SDKs. So these are the different ones that I've downloaded through the um, preferences section inside of Xcode. All right, let's run the other command again just so we see that list with the name at the bottom here. This is the one that I'm going to use. Now let's say I want to launch this simulator from the command line here. So I can say iOS sim, and then we provide an option for device type ID. And because these have spaces in them, we need to put quotation marks around it. And it is case sensitive. Exactly how it's written here, this is how what we have to do to launch it. Oh, 
Yes. <laughs> of course, we have to add the command to actually launch it to start the simulator. So it is exactly what I wrote, but I skipped over the start right here. There we go. So now that is launching our iPhone XR with version 12.4 of iOS. And there it is. This is the simulator. So now if I want to install this example app inside of there, iOS sim, and don't forget the command, install, we need to provide the path to that. So I'm in this folder right now, so I have to go to platforms, iOS, build, emulator, and then there's the file. So from where I am right now, there we have it. That's the name. And then we also want to add on this same flag right here. So the dash dash device type ID. And again, remember the quotation marks because it is case sensitive and there is that space inside there. There we go. So it would launch the simulator as well if it wasn't when you do the install. And there we go. It is installed. There is our app. So I can double click on this if I want. I can launch it and run it. Close that down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this, delete it from the device. Uh, Control C to exit this. So there's a connection created between the terminal and the simulator running. So I'm going to do the same thing that I just did, but instead of install, I'm going to say launch. And this is going to do starting the simulator if it hasn't started which mine already has. Then it'll look to see if it needs to be installed. It'll install it if it needs to, and then it will actually launch. So we can see that it's not here. Launch. There we go. It's installing. It is installed, and then it launches it. So that's it. Those are the commands for iOS SIM. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, if you ever need to Find out what devices you have installed, which simulators rather you have installed, or which SDKs you have installed. You can use iOS Sim as a nice simple way to find that out. And also a nice simple command to be able to launch a specific simulator and install and run your app during development on that simulator. All right. As always, thanks for watching.